Okay, Two Wheeler family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading out on our first official camping trip in the Minimate camper. Stick around. Today is Labor Day weekend, so we have the full three days off. And we're gonna head up to West Palm Beach. There's a campground there which we've been there once before. Uh, we actually did a video there. Well, good morning, folks. It is Saturday morning. Got the coffee. It's, uh, it's right by the safari, the West Palm Beach safari. If I'm not mistaken, we, we got stormed on on that trip. Not getting any better. Storm came out of nowhere and um, we had the tent with the vents open on top. So this is the aftermath of last night. Everything's pretty soaked, muddy, dirty. So this weekend the weather looks good at least the forecast looks good there's no chances of rain it's supposed to be actually hot and sunny and when i say hot it's supposed to be in the low 90s with the real feel low 100s and normally we would not camp in that temperature but we now have a little trick up our sleeve and that's a portable air conditioner that's made for camping it actually runs off of either battery, electric, or solar. So we tried it out and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm pretty confident that it'll do the job. Although it is going to be a bit warmer, but we'll see. So this campground is just over an hour away. It's not that far and I kind of picked it intentionally i'm still getting to know the camper and how it tows and everything else and i don't want to do anything too crazy just yet i really want to get a good feel for it and then once i'm super comfortable with that and confident enough then we'll start heading out further Florida's Turnpike. We're about 35 minutes away. The sun is setting, so I don't know if I'll be able to vlog again. Now this campground closes their doors at 9, so we're cutting it really close. The GPS has me getting there at 8.45. Uh, unfortunately, it does not look like we're going to be able to film the, the actual setup, because the sun is going down pretty quick. But worst case scenario, tomorrow morning, I'll give you guys the full tour of the, the camper with the setup and all the new gear that we have for it. It's, it's, it's really nice actually. I'm, I'm very proud of uh, the way everything turned out and uh, it should make for a good time camping. Okay, Mike from the future here. Pardon the interruption, but I wanted to show you just a little bit of kind of how we got here as far as receiving the trailer and some of the modifications I've done in the past almost a year now leading up to this point. So everything started with a post Nina found on Facebook. A camper that was never used and at the right price. But there was one issue. The camper was all the way in Colorado. So I arranged to have it shipped and sent here to Florida. Then it finally arrived and I couldn't be more excited. The next day I set it up in the backyard and quickly realized I had a lot of work to do. I needed to get a motorcycle hitch, I needed a trailer hitch, I needed to wire the motorcycle. Once that was done, I had to deal with the heat. Being in Florida, this little fan wasn't cutting it. So I started to research different solutions and I wasn't happy with any of them until I came across this. So I started experimenting with different options and I came up with this solution which I thought would work but then it broke on me on the first try. So it was back to the drawing board. This time I'm using MDF instead of plexiglass and it's double the thickness so I'm confident this time around it'll work out. 
With the AC out of the way, the next thing I had to tackle was power. Most campgrounds are gonna have power and I needed a way to tap into that. I'll tell you, this is nerve wracking. So here I'm passing in the 30 amp adapter I have. That's gonna give me shore power. Here I'm adding an insulating foam around the entrance. And the reason for that is to keep the cold air inside because there was pretty big gap that was letting air leak out. So the next thing I wanted was entertainment. So I hooked up this 15.6 inch monitor. I added a battery pack on the back to make it completely wireless, a fire TV stick, and now we can watch movies inside the camper. All right, so we are off the highway. We only got about 18 minutes to go. There's still a little bit of light, so I said I'll check in one more time. You should see the looks that we get <laughs> pulling the camper. Everybody just gives us looks and smiles and thumbs up. People have taken pictures and videos. It's a sight, that's for sure. Just checking, making sure everything's still back there. We have a new mattress that just came in yesterday. One of those uh, self-inflating mattresses. And it's rather bulky. It's not something I could take camping on the bike but you can strap it on top of the camper so that works and we have our cooler slash fridge slash freezer also back there and that's something that it works really well it's a very good size if we're going on a long trip we can keep meats frozen on one side and the other side keep stuff that just need to be refrigerated like beer the only problem with that is the weight it weighs about 20 i think it was 25 26 pounds by itself and obviously if you load it up it's going to weigh a lot more so the only thing we really bring with us is our meat chicken you know things like that for barbecuing anything that we can buy on the road eggs beer water we'll get when we get there and that helps keep the the cooler light the issue with the weight is the tongue weight becomes very heavy all right so i don't know how much you guys can actually see me right now it is uh 20 to 9 and sun is set it's pretty dark out and we are still uh, about 12 minutes away according to the gps so i'm gonna say goodbye here and uh, like I mentioned, if there is light, I'll film the setup of the camper. If not, I'll go over everything tomorrow and I'll check back with you in the morning.